earlier when we created a view, what we did is we created something like a macro where the view is actually not, doesn't take up storage. I mean, you could have a million rows and the view doesn't change your amount of storage except for the amount of space that it takes, you know, 100 characters, 200 characters to store the view itself. When you use the view, it's just substituted into the select statement and then the process results in accessing the tables that the view describes. So it's a substitution process. An alternative to that is a thing called a materialized view. Materialized views actually have the data. And from homework eight, we have this create table that we used a bunch of times. I don't exactly remember what the data is in it. So the first thing we're gonna do with this, you don't have to recreate the table, I don't think, but it's there just in case, is we're gonna go and we're gonna delete the data and refresh it. That's basically this, it's this file right here to run. And when we do that, we'll know what data is in it. And we'll use that for our materialized view example here. So the first thing is to run this delete and insert to set up the data. And hopefully we have, yes, it had data in it, but that's okay. We now have um, 10 rows of data in it. And uh, let's now create our materialized view. Our materialized view is just like any other view. It can have things like grouping in the select statement. It can do things. The big use for something like creating a materialized view is if you're accessing outside data that is really slow, or you have some set of queries that you want to be able to add indexes to a view. Because you can't have a view and have indexes on it. But with this, when we run it, we can actually go out and we can put indexes on the materialized view because it's actually a table. And there is a way to refresh the views from the data without recreating them, the materialized views. So between these two things, we can take something that is slow and make it fast. Now, when we get done here, what we should end up with is three rows in the materialized view. And let's run that and see if we get it right. Yes, we got three rows, and that's kind of the thing with materialized views, is you can actually create a copy of data, index it, and then be able to use it with, um, with indexes on the copy. It is an awful lot like a create table as select from, okay, where you're creating a new table and you're doing it via a select, and it works just like that. Now, the place where this really comes into effect is if you're creating these with an outside data source in Postgres. And we're actually going to do an exercise like that where we connect to an outside data source, I think a comma-separated value file, and then a materialized view becomes hugely important because that actually brings the data into the database instead of accessing the outside data source.